And I was talking about those white incels and those people that are talking shit about me. And I was honestly thinking about giving them my address, like, for a second. Like, no joke, like, I had a gun. And I was like, bro, I actually want to kill you guys. Give me your address. Guys, oh dear, oh no, I'm going to die. Blink is going to shoot me. Um, that's a joke. I seriously doubt that he will assault me, and if he does, I'm pretty sure that the criminal justice system is well-equipped enough to bring him to justice, and either way, it's a win-win, so have at me. Either way, that's really the only snippet that uh, Blink talks about assaulting people in, so if you clicked on this video for that entire thing to be the topic, I kind of clickbaited that, even though it does exist, so instead we're going to be fi figuring out uh, why Blink sold his soul to the devil, and he's not religious and doesn't believe in that, but still tried to sell his soul to the devil. Either way, it's been good fun, uh, verbally assaulting Blank, and he's not off the platform yet. Plus, I have a little project just for him in the, in the works, so I hope he sticks around long enough for that to get finished. I have been seeing a bit of a decline on his channel with him not uploading as much and view counts going down, so I'm, I'm really hoping that he does manage to pull through just so I can get my final little burst of milking out of him to, uh, be completely and utterly blunt. But even if the entire video is not just focused on why he wants to, uh, shoot me, or the white incels as he calls me and some other people probably it's it's probably not just me but either way it's probably going to be just as interesting of a video it's a pretty heavy video regardless and i can assure you that you would probably enjoy it just as much as if it were the other topic solely or maybe it's not maybe you just got all the information you needed and you're ready to click off the video which in that case who's to stop you but for those of you that are gonna stick around sit down we're gonna have some fun Life is very strange, you know? Over the span of the last uh, year or so that I've been following Blank, I've noticed that both of our voices got deeper. It's like we're both growing up together. This fucking autistic brotherhood. Sorry, that was off topic. It really is. And it's just like the older I get, the more that I understand. Wow, who would have fucking guessed? It's like the more time you spend on planet Earth, the more you uh, see, hear, and just your senses are exposed to different things that generally improve your knowledge, I would hope, at very least. Congratulations, you're very perceptive. Like I told you guys, I absorbed the black pill. So, I didn't know what this meant, and I looked it up. Here's the, uh, here's the definition of it. The black pill represents nihilism, or a realization that the system is far too gone to change. The powers that govern our lives are too deeply enriched and too powerful to do anything about. Oh, and while we're still here, um, thank you to the guy that told me on stream about Blank saying that he wanted to end me in this video, otherwise I probably wouldn't be doing this video on it right now. I forgot who it was, but it happened. And back to the topic of pills. All the pills, like the fucking red pills, blank pills, whatever the fuck they are. I is it just me or those? just like really just utterly cringe i understand that it's a reference to the matrix and such but still like using it as terminology just doesn't seem like the most intelligent thing that you can do when you can just say yeah i'm a nihilist what about it especially when black pilled are uh commonly associated with incels that go and take out women like bruh and this isn't the definition that the incels try uh, to make it out to be like, this isn't some incel shit, right? Then just say you're a fucking nihilist. Easy, get it over with, and then you don't have to be associated with the incels, but it's too late, because regardless of that, you call yourself a black-pilled individual, and you, not to mention, you've exhibited traits of black-pilled incels before. It seems like you definitely fit in with the crowd, I'm not gonna lie. This is like some big boy stuff. No matter how many times you try to normalize using the term big boy to describe yourself, it's not gonna work. That term is saved for small children who have successfully overcame the uh, task of not pissing themselves. And in this case, I don't think you even deserve this title because you seriously have not even put forth any effort into not making a fool of yourself, which I feel like in this sense is quite the equivalent to uh, pissing yourself. Hashtag blank needs to stop pissing himself. When you absorb the black pill, you start to understand everything. When it comes to race, politics, human nature, female nature, literally everything combined. Being black pilled isn't gaining an understanding of everything. It's accepting the fact that nothing's going to change and nothing can change or that maybe we're just insignificant. I've at least done a little bit more research on nihilism than I have the black pill and um, considering that that's basically what black pill just is. And I think that using the scientific method, I can say that you're full of shit. And what happened to me is that it almost killed me understanding all of that. The only way I can imagine Blank's two brain cells finally figuring out how to comprehend women and white people is just like... <laughs> 
Hey, future ween here. I just want to say that looking back on this, it sounds like I said that black people can't comprehend women and white people. That's not what I meant. I'm just saying the blank is a fucking retard. Thank you for your consideration. I'm pretty sure that understanding uh, people in general, regardless of their race or gender, is a basic social skill. And even with living a quite the socially sheltered uh, early life that I did and having high functioning autism, I was still able to comprehend how a different people worked or operated. It's seriously not that big of a deal and I swear to god it won't kill you. Just go outside and touch some grass. If I can figure it out, anybody can. Uh, no joke. Like, I almost did end it all understanding everything about racism, about politics, how human nature works, female nature, white nature, black nature, Asian, Mexican. It doesn't matter who it is. Like, I understand everything about everything, right? Like, I'm literally a god. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you mix narcissism with a room temperature IQ. I'm not gonna doubt that he didn't have some sort of revelation about how people worked, or maybe some little bit of self-understanding, but the fact that he's saying he knows everything and he's a god, I'm just gonna call it complete cap on, for obvious reasons. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Swift Lifestyles, an energy formula for gamers focusing on focusing, reaction times, and energizing. Personally, I really like this compared to other energy formulas that I've tried due to the fact that it is very smooth. It does not have that grainy after effect that a certain very large name brand in the same category does have. There's a link to that in the description if you want to go check it out. They sent this to me for free, and I think it's pretty poggers. You know, when you truly understand this, you just can't live life the same. I mean, let's be realistic, how are you living it differently now? I say there's a, a good 8 out of 10 chance that you're still living in your mom's basement in comparison to, uh, last time you made a video. Like, you can't live it at all, and I, you know, I'll, I'll say this, and I've said this before, but not on camera, but no one's truly black pill except me. I mean, by the, uh, definition given by the broad internet, no, there's a lot more black pilled people like you. If you want to say that you're the only one a certain way, just give yourself a brand new definition. Don't just take something else and rebrand it as your own. I, I'm not sure that's how it works. I seriously doubt that. Like, you're not. If you're an incel and you think that, oh, I absorbed the black pill, oh, I left society, no. No, you fool. You're not shit. You're not you can't compare yourself to me. Don't ever claim the black pill again. Wait, you're claiming to have left society and you have a shitty YouTube channel that you upload to at minimum weekly? Not to mention on top of that, you're one of the biggest incels on YouTube that I can possibly imagine. I mean, just stop denying your culture. Accept it. Embrace it. And then just stop fucking talking about it, please. You're a fucking loser. Now, as you guys read by the title, I tried selling my soul. Oh gee willikers, I wonder how that could have gone. And I don't believe that I could sell my soul, like, I don't- I don't believe in the devil and God anymore. It's weird. I mean, let's be realistic, you'd have to have some sort of level of belief to actually, like, attempt to sell your soul. I have this feeling that he just failed miserably at selling his soul just like everything else in his life and then just decided, nah, God's not real because of the fact. I have some mild speculation that he did at very least believe that some sort of higher power existed before he did this, otherwise he wouldn't have even attempted it. It's weird because, you know, I used to believe in God and I, you know, I'm not going to go into my own backstory like <laughs> this is a video online, I'm not going to get that deep. Oh, he won't tell us about his Christian upbringings, but he'll tell us about why he's the chosen one, why he's God, not to mention he literally makes songs about his feelings on how he's so suicidal and depressed. And this is all videos on the internet. I don't know, it seems a bit hypocritical to me. But yeah, you know, I grew up in a church or whatever. <laughs> Man, Blink is so great at phrasing whatever he's trying to say. But still, it's one of those things that... I tried selling my soul and I don't feel anything. Well, who would have fucking guessed? Hey, maybe drop your uh, soul selling routine so then we can figure out what you actually did. Because just saying you tried to sell your soul is, um, not very informative to say the least. Maybe you just fucked it up and somebody in the comment section could help you out with, with figuring out how to properly sell your soul. I'm sure there would be many, many people who would be more than happy to help you out with, uh, getting rid of your soul. Like, it's weird when I see comments uh, of people saying like, oh, little Uzi so to so, or the Illuminati, they got him, or, you know, Kanye West is a part of the Illuminati or whatever, and, like, I don't even believe in any of that stuff. To be fair, who fucking does? Pretty sure most of us want some tangible evidence to back most of those things up, and to be completely, uh, blunt, we don't really have that. So congratulations, you're in the majority. Like, I tried it, like, 
I'm not gonna act like I tried doing some voodoo magic or something or try like going into a graveyard or doing the Ouija board or whatever dumb shit. No, but like I've, I've tried and it doesn't work. See, you're clearly doing it wrong. To properly do this, you need to drink the blood of at least four orphans. Now, I'm just completely convinced now that homie got rejected by the devil for being too cringe. Like, I'm not even joking. Me neither. I still feel like I'm a god, which I am. Um, I am a god. I'm a higher level being. No joke. I'm smarter than everyone on this platform. And it, when it comes to human nature, like, no one can compare to me. Except for literally anybody over the IQ of a 90 and literally any psychologist or social expert out there. Stop sucking your own dick. The more, like I said, the older that I get in this world, the more that I have really to live for and things that I care about. Like, I don't care about anything. Like, seriously. Like, I don't care about anything. <laughs> Living life really has me caring about more things the more I go on, except I don't care about anything. I fucking love that contradiction, just instantaneously, just invalidates himself. It's wonderful. I have no idea how he saw that and was like, yeah, let's put this on the internet, because this totally makes sense. Except, you know, fucking the finest hoes, I guess, or the finest girls, I guess, on Instagram or whatever. That's literally it. And just making money. And once again, he does care about something. Phenomenal. That's all I care about is money and myself. Like, I don't care about anyone. Wow, you're so, so cool for being an absolute douchebag and voicing this. Everybody loves you for this. You've now gained everybody's respect, and you're going to go far in life and be very happy. Congratulations. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not even like a joke, and I'm not even trying to hide that. But I always find myself back on this channel just posting whatever I want. Maybe because you're an insecure incel with no friends and you realize that this is your only outlet where you can imagine that people somewhat agree with you. Like, I apologize for being so harsh, but maybe you should be looking at how people view you in real life and not just on the internet and your fake made-up perception of how you want people to view you on the internet and making it your own reality. It's not gonna get you very far. Like, I don't even care, I just like t speaking and just talking on camera. Like, that's literally it. I mean, I like making videos and talking on camera as well. Well, not camera. You're not on camera. You're just putting a blank screen behind it with a JPEG. Neither am I. I'm just putting gameplay over my voice. But at the same time, I still have to abide by certain guidelines. And I don't view myself as a complete god just because I voice my opinion on the internet and other people don't. It's a hobby and you need to get that through that thick skull of yours. Like, it's crazy. I probably wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for this channel. Like, me just saying whatever I wanted to. Like, no joke. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you never made your channel, you wouldn't be on your channel right now talking about your channel. That does make a lot of sense. Wow. And I was talking about those white incels and those people that are talking shit about me. And I was honestly thinking about giving them my address, like, for a second. Like, no joke, like, I had a gun, and I was like, bro, I actually want to kill you guys. Give me your address. If you're within 100 miles of me, I'll drive to your house on the weekend. We can crack open a cold one and talk about trolling the internet. Sound good? But the thing about white nature is that, um, you know, I'm not like a George Floyd, and I'm not going to beg for my life. I'm actually going to kill you. All right, buddy, buddy. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. Oh. oh boy golly, I sure do love it when people make George Floyd jokes. Ah, uh, it sucks though, because the thing about, like I said, white nature is that that's the problem. They won't actually hurt me if I say stuff like that. They'll think that I'm mentally ill and put me in, like, a, an insane asylum. Well, contrary to popular belief, it's not just white people that would do that. As a matter of fact, I don't think it's a race of people that does that. I think it's a certain category of people called doctors that would do that. Maybe psychiatric evaluators, who, by the way, are not all just white. Ah, oh, but that's the thing. One's a pussy, always a pussy, right? How the fuck does that correlate? Uh, it's just funny. It's like I understand everyone's nature. I'm not scared of anything. I feel nothing. And that's what made me into a god. Ring around the rosy, blanks full of bullshit, ad break, ad break, we all got scammed. There's a high possibility that he's just doing this for the tiny bit of ad revenue that he might be getting, considering there are ads on most of his videos. But at the same time, he's been at it for so long and not derived from his I'm not trolling scheme. It's just fucking absurd, so I, I don't know if we'll ever know. To be honest, guys, like, you shouldn't learn more about uh, female nature or human nature or whatever because a lot of you none of you guys can handle it You'll literally kill yourself guys I heavily advise that you go do learn as much um, Social skills as you possibly can trust me I think you're uh, more likely to kill yourself if you don't learn basic social skills regardless of what blank here says Yeah, but le like honestly like you can leave a comment, right? It's it's gonna be left in review. No one else will see it, but 
I may look at it. Funny story. I left a um, comment on that video that said, give me your address and it's still up. It's been up for six days, meaning he reviewed it and approved it. So who knows? B Blank and Ween collab? What? Possibility? Huh? Other than that, that's basically the whole video. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. I greatly appreciate those of you that didn't instantly click off when a sponsorship uh, message came up. You guys are pretty chill. Also, if you enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like or don't. You're really not obligated to, and I cannot stop you from doing whatever the fuck you want on the internet. Also, if you want to support this channel, consider becoming a channel member or just checking out like any of the links in the description. I'm also starting to stream a lot more often now, so notification could be helpful possibly and check out the second channel for shit posts more uploads is better right but other than that uh you're probably still not there and i don't blame you so until next time love you guys bye